Hello, my name is Martin and welcome back to another video. So I have to openly admit to you, this week I've not really been out and about to make a video. The way I've been working, it's been very difficult to get out and then when I did want to go out, the weather was terrible, blah, 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 you've heard it all before. So I've not actually been out and made a video. Anyway, I always intended to do this video and I'm going to show you some photographs, some wonderful photographs that I turned up whilst researching another video I did, that I've done already. Remember the Manchester Sulphur Junction Canal video? Okay, so I've already made a video about this, the Manchester Sulphur Junction Canal, and it's a dilapidated canal in the middle of Manchester, most of which is very difficult to follow now. The first part was above ground, and that's really hard to see the clues where it was. The second part is below ground, and it's all still there underground, which is what makes it really interesting. Looking at the map there, the blue line is the route of the old canal. Uh, we're going to start with the photographs on the top left-hand side. That's the River Irwell, the grey line, and we'll start showing you some photographs there up near the River Irwell, and I'll show you some along its route, and we're going to finish at the bottom right-hand corner where the Rochdale Canal is. Um, you really need to go and watch my original video, to be honest with you, um, because I'm not going to go into too much detail about the canal. I've already done that. So we'll just look at some really interesting pictures that have turned up along its route. I kept turning up these wonderful photographs of the canal in the city centre of Manchester in its more dilapidated state when it was kind of like run down um, and when it was just like nobody knew what to do with it if you like and I kept thinking wow what an amazing picture and a lot of the pictures I couldn't place where they were in the city centre anyway I always thought I should do a second follow-up video with that footage that I never showed because that original video got very big loads of information and it would have been too much so this if you like is an addition to the Manchester Sulphur Junction Canal video it's like the b-side if you like so I'm going to show you some photographs uh, that are really quite fascinating it'll only be a short video and I'll try and talk you through some of the photographs and where we are but the journey starts we'll start the journey down at the River Irwell remember the drone the recent drone video I did where I was fishing for my drone well we're gonna go there and the year is about 1973 and I'm going to show you that area first of all here's a quick refresher okay so if you watch my videos you'll know this little area here this is where the Salford Junction Canal just meets the River Irwell and that's me just pointing the route out where it went off into Manchester and under Granada Studios I flew my drone and crashed my drone in those railings just across the way there. Um, so my last video was all based around there, where I was looking for my drone, doing some magnet fishing. So it's a very familiar area, this, if you watch my videos. But let's go back to 1973. Now look at that. We are just across the river now, looking over where I'm stood in that last scene. And to the left is where the Victoria and Albert Hotel is now. See Granada Studios at the back there. I think this is about 1973. And the entrance is completely blocked. To the right now, that is a car park or a brand new car park. But look at that. There's another shot of it. Um, and you can now see to the right there where those railings are. That's where I did the magnet fishing for the drone. But how different is that? And look at that, just, just dumped a load of stuff there. Blocked the canal up. And there's the spot. That's the spot where I was a few days ago. Magnet fishing for my drone. And you can see, if you look down the river, you can see the Hampson Street Bridge is blocking George Stevenson's bridge completely. Amazing. Okay, so this is entitled Granada uh, Irwell Portal. So I don't know if this is just after Water Street on the Granada land, not quite sure. But we're definitely down near the Irwell still, so we're still at the start of it now. And this is Camp Street. Now, when I did my original video, when I was on Camp Street, I was further down towards Granada. This picture is taken up towards Deansgate. In fact, that's Deansgate in front of us, just behind the green lorry. 
Again, I think the year is 73, and looking at the vehicles, it looks about right. Um, not sure if those buildings are still there or not, because I never actually went up. I've not been able to sort of compare this picture with now. But again, fantastic picture. Now, as you can see, the canal is still underground. It's been underground all the way under Camp Street, and it's gone underneath Deansgate. And we're now underneath the Great Northern Warehouse. And you can see we're still well underground here. This picture's dated 1938. So the canal is well uh, not in use anymore and it's closed. But you'll see this is a wharf area underneath the Great Northern Warehouse. And you can see the canal in the left hand corner there. Uh, that goes off now on its route. But this is how it opened up into like little wharfs. And goods could be unloaded here and lifted up into the Great Northern Warehouse. And of course, the fascinating thing is that all that is still there. Now the next set of photos I'm going to show you, most of them are entitled East Street and they're all different views. Some are looking this way um, from where we've been, some are looking the opposite way. So you're just going to have to try and work out because it is difficult to work out. But what I want you to imagine is that now we've come under the Great Northern Warehouse. Behind that is um, GMEX or Central Station. We've come underneath Central Station and all the time we're coming up locks. So we're coming now back up to street level. We're somewhere now, East Street is over towards where the Bridgewater Hall is. And the canal is now at street level, almost. These are the East Street photos, and the, the, the most of them were taken when the canal was in a state of dilapidation. But again, absolutely fascinating. So let me just show you these. Okay, so East Street, where was East Street? Well, it's been long since been demolished, and it's one of Manchester's lost streets. Look at Lower Mosley Street there in the middle there. To the left is GMEX Central Station, apart from it's not on this map, because this map predates it. But look to the right of Low Mosley Street and running parallel with it is East Street. You'll just see it there. Now just to the lower part of the word East is a grey line and that is the Salford Junction Canal crossing directly across East Street. Um, and that is where the following photos were taken from. Okay, very quickly, here's a modern reference for you. There's Lower Mosley Street to the left. See where the big pebble is in the middle of the pavement, just in front of the shiny building, the big ornamental pebble? I think that pebble is probably in the middle of where East Street was, roughly. Probably not a bad guess, that. Sulphur Junction Canal is just below street level, and it's going to cross right in front of us at a right angle to Lower Mosley Street. So that's just roughly so we can work out where we are. Um, and the pebble is on East Street. Okay, so here we are. This is um, looking towards Lower Mosley Street. We stood, I think, in the middle of East Street, and you'll see the canal running there, about to run underneath uh, Central Station GMEX. Now, don't forget, GMEX was built over the top of it. You can see this gives a good indication of the level at where the canal is now. Now, don't forget, it's going to go down locks and down and down and go lower than this and eventually uh, go underneath the city streets. But at the minute, it was just below street level. And that picture just illustrates it quite well. This is the same tunnel, the same view, but a little bit closer in and I think an earlier picture. Look how dilapidated the area is. And I'm also wondering if that tunnel there is this tunnel that you see now. Not sure. That featured in the original video. That's the one where you can see the towpath, uh, where I showed you the original towpath. But I don't know. This is where I start to get confused. So your thoughts and your comments welcome. This is difficult, this. This throws me completely. Again, I think that's the same tunnel we've just been looking at, but obviously much later because the buildings either side of it that, that sort of were quite cavernous before have now been pulled down. Um, so that's an interesting photo taken much later. 
Okay, so I think this is the same bridge again. Again, this is entitled East Street. So I think we're looking at the same um, view. Those buildings, those cavernous buildings are there. In the previous picture, the guy was stood right in front of that little tunnel, if you remember. This is 1920s. I didn't put the pictures in chronological order. I'm sorry, I just didn't do that. Um, but you'll see the, the canal has still got water in. Um, obviously by now closed, but um, about to probably fall into a state of disrepair. Okay, so unintentional by the photographer. But who is the lady in the window? Probably working in her office. Roughly 1920. I guess we'll never ever know. Now this is a piece of the uh, tunnel that's been exposed. I don't know where this is, but again, and I've no date on this one either, but obviously somewhere something's been done and they've broken through here and exposed the tunnel. Okay, so only a couple more photographs and the next couple of photographs are taken up at the other end of the Sulphur Junction Canal where I opened the last video, which is just off the Rochdale Canal. So it's near Lock 89, Tib Lock, uh, just off Whitworth Street. And now it's actually quite a nice little area. If you look at these photographs, my God, the difference. And quite often you'll, you'll see people commenting on old photos and saying it was much nicer then. I'm telling you now, these photographs show that this was absolute urban decay. It really is horrible. In one way, really, for me, quite fascinating. I'd love to have seen it then. But really, it's much nicer to look at now. Anyway, I'll crack on and I'll show you the photographs. Look at that total total urban decay again i think this is the 70s some point so you can just see the spur there going to the right of the picture and that is that but look at the difference and that mill has gone obviously completely And then this is with our backs to the spur, so the Sulphur Junction Canal is behind us. We're looking at the T-junction with the Rochdale Canal. And then in front of us is um, Whitworth Street and the railway arches. And look behind the railway arches, you can still see the remains of the old Gaythorn Gas Works. So there you go, that's the end of the photographs. I hope you enjoyed looking at them. I know sometimes it's difficult to work out exactly where we were and what we were looking at. Even I had difficulty. But fascinating pictures of uh, urban decay and a canal that once was that was just, uh, you know, ended up... Imagine being able to see it back in the day when it was no longer had watering, but the route was still there complete. It must have been fascinating because I bet you could just go down there with a torch and walk through it. Absolutely fascinating stuff. So that's the end of that. Bit of a video with a difference. I wasn't out and about. I hope you don't mind. I hope you enjoyed looking at those photographs. As it happens, I'm going exploring something tomorrow, which won't make any sense depending on when you watch this video. But nonetheless, there's another video coming up very soon. Thanks for watching, take care and I shall see you very soon in the next video. Bye for now.